the evening of Friday, September 15th, the 3-0 Lake Orion Dragons hosted the 3-0 West Bloomfield Lakers in an OAA Red Division matchup. Let's jump to the second quarter. With the score tied at three apiece, the Lakers have a first and 10 on the Dragons 32. With quarterback Requez Nance in shotgun, he takes the snap and launches it into the end zone. Dragon Andrew Parker seems positioned to make the interception, but somehow it falls onto the chest of Elisha Durham for the touchdown. Unbelievable. The Justin Ward extra point was good, and the Lakers are on top and free. With the second quarter winding down, the Dragons are on the Lakers 22 with quarterback T.R. Hill in shotgun. He sidearms it to Billy Roberson, who makes a nice cut and bowls over defenders on his way to the end zone. The Hoffman team is good, and the Dragons tie things up and 10. With 3.40 left in the third, Lakers kicker Justin Ward makes good on a 29-yard field goal to regain the lead. Let's go to the fourth. The Lakers are forced to punt, and the Dragons begin a drive on their own 42 with 5.30 left in the ball game. The Dragons methodically move the ball down the field and facing a third and three on the Lakers six with 124 remaining. T.R. Hill throws a bullet to Jamari Cooper for the score. Following the PAT, the Dragons take the lead 17-13. West Bloomfield had one last chance to march down the field needing a touchdown, but the Dragons defense came up big. The final 17-13 Lake Orion. Dragons head coach Chris Bell gave us his thoughts on this huge victory. So coach, what did you think of the game tonight? Jeez almighty. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you what, you can't, with those guys, you can't relax, so that thing hit zeros. Yeah. And uh, I'm just so proud of my guys. You know, it's, it, we knew it was going to be a four-quarter game. We didn't give up any big plays. We just kept fighting. I think we wore them down at the end. Huge character drive there at the end. We're talking about the growing up party. How about Jamari beating yeah, the Division yeah. One corner there in the slant for Absolutely. the touchdown. Yeah. TR threw a great ball. and. So I'm just so proud of our guys. We were just talking about it is, yeah, you came in for the score to go ahead, but then you trusted your defense to get it done and they came through. Defense played outstanding. Ricky and the guys, the coaching staff had a great plan, but those guys played, they played so hard. Kept, kept pressure on the quarterback, the secondary was, oh, that, there's some tremendous talent on the, on the other side. And those guys have been, been I mean, they've been catching deep balls all season long. So for the most part, we kept them in front of us all the time made plays and, and I just couldn't be happier. With the win, the Dragons are the only undefeated team in the OAA Red. The Dragons play their third home game in a row when the one and three Stony Creek Cougars come to town on Friday, September 22nd. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. from Dragon Stadium. This is Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV News.